So what is the ACFE and how does it help reduce fraud? The ACFE is the Association of Certified Fraud Examiners and their motto, as you can see from their website, is reducing fraud worldwide. Our firm has been a member uh, going back over a decade and we have um, attended many of their trainings and uh, become aware of their um, techniques on reducing fraud. They are the leading association of professional fraud examiners and fraud investigators. Many of their members are in the public sector, uh, meaning they're government agencies, they're uh, government investigators, sometimes they're prosecutors and district attorneys. Some of the members are in the private sector, like our company is a private investigative agency. Uh, and all of the members are um, dedicated to reducing fraud at any level. It's corporate embezzlement, it's Ponzi schemes, it's government waste, and even lower level online scams where consumers are victimized by websites that try to take your money. Um, once a year, the ACFE comes out with a report to the nations, which is this report right here, which has a lot of overview of what has been happening in the fraud world. Um, this is their 11th study since uh, in 2020. Um, and it talks about what happens to fraud and victims. Here's an overview. The key findings are um, they researched 2,500 cases from 125 countries. Just from this number of cases, which of course isn't all the fraud cases, it's the ones they looked at, they found 3.6 billion in losses from those cases. What is a typical fraud case? Um, it's something that lasts about 14 months before it's detected. It could be an, in, uh, an embezzlement of a company. It could be uh, an online scam. And the scammers make about $8,000 per month on average, right? And CFEs, which is Certified Fraud Examiners, find that organizations, meaning that when it's corporate fraud, they lose 5% of their revenue to fraud each year. A median case is 125000 The average loss per case is 1.5 million, right? Um, asset misappropriations are the most common type, the least costly. Financial statement are the most costly. Those approach a million dollars for a median loss. Corruption is a common scheme. Fraud awareness training. Um, if a company has training, uh, they'll get more responses from their tips. 43% of schemes were detected by a tip. So if you are aware of a possible fraud in your company, online, it's always good to promote that knowledge by passing it along to law enforcement, to an investigative agency, to an internal whistleblower uh, type of case. Um, small businesses were more likely um, of higher risk to billing fraud and payroll fraud than larger companies. Usually the larger companies have more resources dedicated to preventing fraud. But what you'll find is there's there's exception to that. We had a, an article uh, in a video a few weeks ago where the Weyerhaeuser Corporation, one of the largest um, logging paper firms in the country, had an internal bookkeeper steal four and a half million dollars uh, from their firm. Uh, this is the areas where the frauds happen. Operations, 15%. Accounting, 14%. Um, the largest losses came from an executive, 600000 A manager, 150000 um, And here's a big percentage. We see this all the time. 46% of victim organizations decline to refer cases to law enforcement because internal discipline was sufficient or because they did not want outside uh, scrutiny of the case. So fraud is a very common um, event. The ACFE is um, kind of the gold standard of organizations for uh, people who are in the fraud investigative industry. Um, you'll see on our website, we've been a member for a very long time and in investigating fraud, whether it's at a high level or low level, we use ACFE um, examples of methods and procedures to investigate fraud and discover assets that are the fruits of fraudulent activities.